Now let's move on to the second stanza of the poem. With wonderful deathless de- details we build up the world's great cities and out of a fabulous story we f- fashion an empire's glory. Deathless duty means in mortal songs by creating immortal songs artist can build up the great cities of the world. How can a song build up a city by the envisioning praising inspiring or even criticizing do not underestimate the power of words and melody they are extremely powerful they provoke people into creating what is desirable and tearing down or remedying what is not a song that praises a city and its people also immortalizes their greatness the physical city may be destroyed in reality but still the city will live on forever through the song and out of a fabulous story with fashion and empire's glory so by creating and telling fabulous stories of a great empire artists are able to give shape to or design its glory we often judge or evaluate the greatness or magnificence of an empire on the basis of its artistic productivity and achievements art art is an insidious it permeates our being like nothing else can a fabulous story is the best propaganda or advertisement of the glory of an empire and the empire lives on in people's mind through this fabulous story even after its downfall and ruin next is one man with a dream at pleasure shall go forth and conquer a crown and three with a new songs measure can trample an empire down So here the poet means to say that through his writings an artist can motivate a man to dream freely to visualize the plethora of possibilities at his disposal and to courageously go forward to fulfill his dreams that is to conquer a crown conquering a crown involves overthrowing a king and assuming kingship it is an arduous task for the faint hearted but an artist writings can make the one who dreams of achieving this possibly for him by boosting his morale the crown here of refers to an extraordinary achievement to achieve something extraordinary one needs tremendous courage and perseverance and the will to surmount all obstacles and three with the new songs measure can trample an empire down at the same time a long song can inspire people to come together and cause a revolution in order to bring about the downfall of an empire that is to crush it underfoot thus art enables the achievement of goal as well as the implementation or execution of the much needed curative measure for the welfare of society now moving on to the last but not the least danger we in the ages lying in the buried past of the earth built nineveh with our sign and babel itself with our mirth So here the poet is saying artists have always been at work inspiring society and bringing about change even in the years gone by that is the past ages the evidences of which are now buried in the earth these evidences are the biblical city of the Nineveh and the tower of Babel the magnificent city of Nineveh which is now lying in ruins was built out of the sighing of artist and the torture that the slave or artisans have to undergo in order to build the city on the other hand the tower of babel was built with the spirit of joy when the people of babel decided to build a tower that would touch heaven they begin the task with unbridled enthusiasm the stories of nineveh and babel have endured in the minds of the people even though the cities themselves have been destroyed now the next is and overthrew them with propsing to the old of the new world's worth for each age is a dream that is dying or one that is coming to birth 
means to say after creating such glory the artist also deconstructed or pulled them down with their professors that is their vision or plans for a new world this means that the artists were not satisfied merely after creating these magnificent cities and artist is always creating because he feels the irresponsible arg to do so after each creation the artist moves on to a new one art is undoubtedly immortal and lives on in all its glory but the artist abhorred stagnation and begins creating another masterpiece it is crucial for the artist to do this because only then will the world will be able to move forward towards a better future artist does have the responsibilities of staying in the driver's seat all the time for each age is a dream that is dying time never stands still and artist recognize this what the common man thinks to be true and permanent is seen only by the artist as fleeting and ephemeral like a dream or no when that is coming to birth the world is a perpetual motion whatever is creating is decaying and at the same time giving shape to newer creations possibilities and hopes artists are the ones who recognize this and work with it so this was all about the poem that we had discussed here okay i hope you have understood it now solve the bookwork of this chapter okay thank you